what's up guys welcome back to this new tutorial video presented by iq correct so before i start this video a great big hands up to all our subscribers from all around the world from india from pakistan from brazil from the us so we actually thank you guys so in the video of today what you are going to be looking is how to install virtual machine on your android device so how to have an android device installed on your android device work such as bluestar pc so this trick is one of the best you found out there because this is the 2020 method on how to install vmos on your android device non-rooted and without downloading the roms of vmos so please so please if it's your first time on this channel click on the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to stay tuned on our latest videos because actually after this video what is coming up is next how to create virtual numbers on whatsapp uk us numbers so stay tuned on this channel to discover more high-tech videos and tricks and this will be done by my colleague so in this video what you're going to need is that you're going to first need the android device that is compatible for so i'll advise you to get an android device of a storage of i can say 32 gig and a ram of 3 gig at least in um, my own case and my ram is 4 so you can actually have a device at the ram of 3 and a rom of 32 gig that will be very compatible for this trick so first thing we're going to download in our vmos from the internet so for download vmos actually easy what you're going to do you're going to type in vmos ipq on your google search so after typing vmos on ipq make sure you take in for the latest version on the ipq website which is actually 317 megabyte if i think so so it's 317 megabyte on my own case i already have it so i'm not going to download it anymore you can see all have vmos downloaded on my android device so after downloading vmos on your android device next on play store i'm going to need an archive downloader so i'm going to be looking need an archive file so i'm going to download in z archive so z archive is a freeware found on play store so you guys should get it for this trick it's actually 2 mb i already have it installed so let us skip it to the next step so once these two softwares have been installed once z archive is installed on your android device since you have to use z archive to install the vmos so as from this step please follow my lead carefully so you can see the archives is at the other corner so get on to the archive locate your download folder on your device on own case is download and if you can actually see at the last option here we have vmos virtual root android on android double system so after doing this what you're going to do is that once you actually install you're going to click on the vmos file i'm going to extract you can see you press on the extract after clicking on the extract you come right here to this theory button click on it but we're actually going to create a folder where we're going to extract all the files found in this archive so you're going to create a new folder let us say the name of the v new folder is vmos 220 so after creating the folder you click on this arrow down here to extract the extracting process to begin so once this is done you can see we have four options we have android com vmos.glb we have icon png and the manifest.json so you're going to go in for the third for the second file which is com.vmosglblpq to install it so actually click on this and open install installation process will actually depend on the performance on your android device so you guys should just be patient so installation is done at this step please don't open it just click on the done so once done you can actually see this folder we have an android folder so what i'm going to do at this stage is that we are going to copy the content of this android folder and paste it on the official android folder of your android device so which is actually found on the home page of your storage so you're going to open android obb so you can see this folder com.vmos.glb you're going to copy it this is what i'm going to be using you're going to copy it after copying you're going to be look moving next to your root folder so you can see here we have the folder and you can see after it's usually usually after alarm so this is android at this stage obb and you can click on the piece so after the piece is done we're going to move on the next stage which is actually going to be getting on to vmos before but before we continue please actually comment what you love us to do in our next video because this actually help us to choose the right content for you guys so at this stage i'm going to using a camera to screenshot my device so let us switch to the camera mode and see so at this stage let us get into the user interface of vmos so you can see here is vmos so i'm just going to open vmos i can see the user interface is actually very cool 
after this stage you're going to start vmos and use overlay floating mode you click on the yes to actually active allow the permission and to authorize you need to authorize access to the delivery location to media and to record audio once this is done the solution of the rom access and please note that this thing is without data connection so you cannot be see in unzipping no data consumption so this watch is actually very cool in this 2020 method on how to install the vmos on your android device so it is using you no megabyte i can actually see my data connection it's off so i have data I'm actually of the data and it's actually unzipping the roms for free without any data access which is 292 megabyte so this process will actually depend on your android performance so once this is done just be patient 99 and it is up so here's the part that is actually going to take the much longer time because this is actually the first launching of the application so this part is actually going to take let us say five to ten minutes and this will actually depend on the performance of your android device so at this stage i'm going to be leaving the video at the post stage and i'm going to come back to continue the video so i'm going to leave it at a post and we are going to come back when it is going to be done And you can actually see our VMOS has been installed successfully on our Android device. So you can see here is our second Android device on our Android device. So if you actually check at the settings, I'm going to start by using an operating system of Lollipop, which is the 5.0.1. So you can see accessibility about phone. And I'm going to be start by using VMOS version 5.11, which is the Lollipop. And please, in our further tutorials, I'm going to be looking at how you can actually install you are, you are going to be looking how you can now in, import your applications from your vmos to your to from your android device to your vmos device so you can see it is very very cool and it is very very tricky and this is one of the best methods that are going to be look out there and how to install vmos on your android device so that was all about this video and please if you love the video give a like and stay tuned on IQ Codec for our next tutorial. As like I said earlier, you guys shouldn't miss the other videos that I'm going to be loading today on how to install, how to get virtual numbers on WhatsApp for the year 2020, and also how you can actually install the latest version of Kali Linux version 220.1 that is actually been released on V on Hyper V. So stay tuned on IQ Codec for our next next tutorial. Have a nice day. Bye.